This is a quick start guide for the DW Analog to IP Video Encoder. Before you begin, please make sure you have the following items. First, find a suitable spot to place your encoder. We recommend placing it in an area that is dry, dust-free, and has sufficient thermal ventilation. Do not block the encoder's cooling fans as this may cause it to overheat. If you are using a server rack, you can use the included rack mount ears to fix the encoder in place. Connect a display monitor to the back of the unit. The encoder supports VGA and true HD output cable connections. Turn the display monitor on so the encoder can detect the monitor when booting up. To interact with the encoder, connect a mouse to an available USB port on the front or back of the unit. Once you have installed and mounted your compatible analog cameras according to their instructions, connect their cables to the camera input ports on the back of the encoder. To provide local network or internet access, connect to your router using the Ethernet port. To power the encoder, connect the included power cable to the power input port located on the back of the device. Connect the power cable to a power outlet. The power indicator LED on the front of the encoder will illuminate and the display will begin to show on screen. Allow the device to complete its boot process before proceeding. When the encoder first boots up, move your cursor to make the startup wizard window appear. You will need to agree to the application privacy statement to continue. Next, you will be prompted to create a password for the encoder. The password must contain 8 to 16 characters with at least two types of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. After creating your password, follow the rest of the setup wizard's on-screen instructions to configure the device's language, time, and network settings. This process should only take a few minutes to complete. Once you have completed the startup wizard, you will be able to view live footage from your unit normally. Once your encoder has been set up, you can access it remotely. To do this, Start by opening your preferred web browser and going to our website, digital-watchdog.com. Click on the search icon and type DWIP Finder. Navigate to the DWIP Finder product page and click Software. Next, click on the download button for the version of the software that matches your computer's OS. Open the installer and install DWIP Finder. This should only take a couple of minutes. Next, open DWIP Finder and use the drop-down on the top left to select the network your encoder is connected to. Click Scan Devices and allow DWIP Finder to search for the encoder. Once your device has been detected, click the Settings button. On the Settings window, click Website. A new tab on your web browser will open, and the Privacy Statement window will appear. Agree to the Privacy Statement to continue. Next, log in to the web viewer with the username admin and the password you created from the startup wizard. Once you log in, you will have full access to the encoder from your web browser. From here, you can access live footage and settings. The DW Analog to IP video encoder does not have recording capabilities built in. You'll need a compatible VMS to record video from the encoder's cameras. We recommend using our software, DW Spectrum. The remainder of this QSG will teach you how to use it. First, go to digital-watchdog.com. Navigate to the DW Spectrum product page and download DW Spectrum. Open the installer and complete the client setup wizard. This should only take a couple of minutes. Next, launch DW Spectrum. Click New System. Then click Set up New System. Name your system and create a password to complete the setup. 
After creating your system, click the menu icon on the top left and click System Administration. On the General tab, make sure that the Auto Discovery is enabled. Next, click the Routing tab and check to see if the network your encoder is connected to is enabled on your system. Click OK when you're done. On the left sidebar, click the arrow next to the server icon to see the devices connected to your system. Right-click on your encoder and click Camera Settings. Click Edit Credentials and type the encoder's password. Click OK, then Apply when you're done. Click the Recording tab and click Activate License. Type in your recording license key and activate the license. Once you've activated your license, you will be able to view live and recorded footage from your encoder on DW Spectrum. This completes the installation of your new analog to IP video encoder. Until next time, thank you for choosing Digital Watchdog.